My name is Steve Gaines and I'm the director of the Marine Science Institute at the University of California, Santa Barbara. I'm a marine ecologist and I work on a variety of issues in marine conservation. We pulled together two data sets that had never been looked at together. One was a global uh, data set on fisheries records from over 11,000 fisheries from around the world. And a second was institutional records of how these different fisheries were managed. And the goal was then to look at whether the way they're managed influences the success of the fishery. The way most fisheries are managed, there's a perverse incentive for individual fishermen to race with other fishermen to catch the next fish. And this often comes um, at the expense of the long-term sustainability of the fishery. And in a number of environmental situations, when there are incentives that cause individuals to do things which are somewhat stupid in terms of their long-term benefit, um, one potential solution is to change the incentives by changing the way management works or markets work to align the incentives for the individual with the incentive for the environment and the long-term sustainability of the fishery. So in fisheries, one way to create a potentially long-term incentive for sustainability is to provide individual fishermen, cooperatives, or communities um, a secure ownership of part of the share of the catch. And this changes the nature of incentives to long-term sustainability, at least in theory. So by comparing the success of fisheries around the globe with the way they're managed, we found that in, although only about 1% of global fisheries are managed with some form of catch shares, these per fisheries performed dramatically better than the average fishery. On average, fisheries managed by catch shares had half the probability of collapse of normal fishery. And this estimate of the benefit is an underestimate of the value of catch shares because most of the fisheries that are managed as catch shares are relatively young fisheries in terms of being managed as a catch share. And we found that the longer a fishery is managed as a catch share, the greater the benefits. So we expect to see the difference between catch share fisheries and traditional fisheries to grow through time. About a fifth of all the protein that humans eat on the planet comes from the sea. And if we combine that fact with the growing realization that um, a larger fraction of the world's fisheries are, in, are collapsing each year, this creates a real global crisis. And so we need solutions. And what this suggests is that, we, uh, that some solutions are already at hand. There are ways to fix the management system that have been tried and this study shows that they can be very successful in increasing both the economic and environmental gains from the fishery.